Hey everyone, let's talk about Return to the Void. This is the fourth full-length album by Oslo-based group Execration. This was my first experience with the band. Usually I talk about bands that I'm really familiar with, but in this case it was more of grabbing something at random, and I'm totally glad I did. This album combines the twisted and Lovecraftian horror passages of Pestilence and puts a little bit of sci-fi into it. Execration are most deeply rooted in death metal, but have spread their wings to other genres such as doom and black metal. Their career started off with their 2007 EP, Language of the Dead. This was a fairly solid classic death metal release. You can almost feel the leprosy when you listen. But this isn't symbolic of their later work. After the consuming impulse to testify to the ancients, their individual thought patterns really sounded of persevere... I'm sorry. Execration began to diversify their sound on 2014's Morbid Dimensions, which sat together slow and dire doom metal, along with some visceral and fast-paced death metal. Here, the doom metal has been set aside, and in its place black and thrash metal have taken up. Songs bounce back and forth between twisted death metal and in-your-face black and thrash. One of the themes of this album is sort of transcending human experiences and finding something dark, inhuman, and horrifying in its place. This is one of the things that sets Execration apart from other death metal bands. Their style of death metal is usually accompanied by gory and brutal lyrics, and while those are present a bit, here it's more focused on grand and celestial ideas. This is refreshing because bands that write about this can sometimes be really pretentious. I mean, technical and progressive. Hammers of Vulcan talks about a society being destroyed by what are described as mechanical birds of prey that are smashed by the Hammers of Vulcan. This is indicative of an advanced civilization destroying one that is more primitive with some kind of spaceship made of metal working. Necrocosm is about exploring the depths of human consciousness and all the terrible things that can be found in there. There's madness and death and the darkest aspects of humanity. The closing track, which is the only one in Norwegian, talks about being sucked into a black hole and being trapped for all eternity. It kind of sounds like, my wife, am I right? One of the most prominent features of this album is the bass. It's really loud and distorted and it sounds so good, especially when it gets tied up in the crazier drum patterns. Necrocosm has lots of jagged passages that build tension with forceful drum patterns followed by the bass. The intro to Cephalic Transmissions has a gorgeous and spacey bass riff that is one of the more atmospheric moments on the album. Unicursal Horrorscope, whose name is so over the top it's hilarious, has a quieter passage about halfway through that lets the bass really shine. It also has a pretty cool bass riff near the end. The drums get lots of time up front as well. The end of Eternal Recurrence has a head-spinning drum pattern where the bass dances under the shouted vocals, and the drum pattern introducing Necrocosm seamlessly blends into the track. This is one of the best examples of both drum work and songwriting on this album. It keeps around the same pace and style of beat, and the rest of the music evolves around this pattern. The title track has some really intense drum work near the end, along with one of the best guitar riffs on the album. Unicursal Horoscope has the most blackened style of drums, with a uh, quick blast beat sitting through a lot of the track. This track also has the most dynamics and speed. When it's not ferociously blasting away, it's really slow and creeping. It also features one of the best and most unsettling vocal performances on the album in the last couple minutes. This album has lots of twists and turns as well. Each song reaches for influences in black and death and thrash metal, and it's usually all right next to each other. It's extremely hard to get the production just right for everything, and there's a lot of compromises in the overall sound, and the record kind of suffers as a result. The bass sounds really nice, and the drums sound fine, but it feels like the guitars are always being pushed into the background and the vocal production lacks the bite that it needs to really shine. There are a few memorable guitar parts across the album, which is a combination of the guitar's place in the production and the need for some more gripping guitar work as well. There are also no solos to speak of, which is a little bit disappointing. Solos are definitely not necessary, but I would love to hear one bridging together two fast-paced and manic passages. This exposes another problem. Because there are so many different styles packed into every song, the ideas sometimes feel disjointed and totally separate. Most of the time, the transitions are done very cleverly and draw you into the music, but there are lots of times where the ideas don't feel quite right together, and it's hard to keep up and relate all the different passages together. I really love what Execration is doing here. Their blend of brutality, their fun twists and turns, and their technical ability along with all the demented stories makes for a pretty sweet album. I just wish that there was better production, especially on the guitars. It would lend itself to being more memorable and bring out the potential of the other instruments more. They have most of the ingredients here, but without some kind of glue to hold them all together, then it isn't quite enough to be a truly great album. Balancing the wide and diverse range of metal in this album is a difficult challenge, but if they can figure out how to bring out the best in each aspect, then they'll have a winning formula for sure. What did you think of this album? I would love to know your thoughts if you loved it, hated it, or whatever. 
Okay, that's going to be it for this one. Tune in next week for a review of the new Winter Sun album, which should be interesting. I'll see you guys next time.